What's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Skate Park Lessons with me, JB, here at the Sunnyvale Skate Park. And today I'm gonna to teach you guys the 10 most important ways to push on your skateboard. Check it out. The skill levels range from beginner to advanced, and the risk levels range from low to high. In this video, I'll be teaching you the push, the mongo push, the power push, the lean push, the tic-tac, the throw down, the run and jump, the switch mongo push, the switch push, and the pump carve. I put these in order for you from easiest to hardest. For this lesson, it helps if you can stand and balance on your skateboard, push on your skateboard, run out off of your skateboard, which is in my 10 important stops video, and knee slide, which is in my skateboarding safety videos. If you don't know how to do any of these, it's okay. Please refer back to my other videos on this channel to catch up. Here are the things you guys should do. Wear quality pads and helmet for additional confidence and safety. Watch and follow my confidence video to understand how to bail and help you build quick safety reflexes. Try to spend time on your skateboard every single day. Loosen your trucks with a 916 wrench, 14 millimeter wrench, or skate tool so your board will almost touch the wheels when you lean over. Focus on the smoothness of your motions while pushing, pivoting, standing, riding, carving, kick turning, and stopping. Keep your head over your skateboard for better balance while practicing your pushing techniques. Practice these pushes to build your confidence and consistency. Here are the things you guys shouldn't do. Don't get frustrated trying to learn how to skateboard on a cheap skateboard. Buy quality and support a local skate company or skate shop. I hope you find skate park lessons to be helpful. Please support us. Click that like and subscribe button to encourage me to make a new video for you every week. Please add us at Skate Park Lessons on social media and tag yourself skateboarding for a chance to be featured on our story as well as enter contests and giveaways. Let's get started by teaching you the most important ways to push your skateboard. Let's start with the push. The skill level is first timer and the risk level is medium. It helps if you can stand on your skateboard, step off of your skateboard, run out off of your skateboard, or knee slide. Here is the foot setup position for the push. The push is the first way you should learn to accelerate on a skateboard and is the easiest and most commonly used method. Here are the simple steps for the push. You need to start from riding position. Riding position is with your front foot behind the second set of front bolts and your back foot on the tail with your heels and toes matching. From riding position, spin your chest forward by pivoting on your front foot so your toes face forward. Bend down with your lead leg as you swing your back leg out in front of you as if to take a step. Keep your head and body weight over your lead leg as you push off the ground using the balls of your feet with your push leg. Lean forward into each push and keep your head over your skateboard for better balance. Slightly hop and pivot your front foot so your shoulders match your skateboard. Set your back foot on the tail so both feet are in riding position or repeat these steps and continue pushing until you reach your desired speed or become tired. Pro tip for this push, always keep your head and body weight over your skateboard while you are pushing and skating. Also, stronger pushes make for less pushes to reach your desired speed. Practice this with one push at a time, and as you get better, try two pushes in a row, then three, then as many as possible. Here's how to bail. Use the runout method to lean your head over your front foot and into a runout off of your skateboard. The Mongo push. The skill level is first timer, and the risk level is medium. For this push, it helps if you can stand on your skateboard, step off of your skateboard, run out off of your skateboard, or knee slide. Here's the foot setup position for the Mongo push. The Mongo push is not the most efficient way to skate as it requires an extra step to set your feet in riding position after you push. But many first timers and beginners learn to skate this way as it feels more comfortable to them when learning. Here are the simple steps for the Mongo push. From riding position, spin your back foot so your toes point forward, then spin your chest forward. Bend down with your back leg as you swing your front leg out in front of you as if to take a step. 
push off of the ground using the balls of your foot, be sure to lean forward into each push and keep your head over your skateboard for better balance. Set your front foot back into riding position and pivot your back foot and then move it onto the tail. Continue pushing until you reach your desired speed or until you become tired. My pro tip for this push, always keep your head and body weight over top of your skateboard while pushing and skating. Practice this with one push at a time while going slow until you feel comfortable enough to try two pushes in a row, then three, and then as many as possible. Here's how to bail. Use the runout method to lean your head out over the nose of your skateboard and step off into a runout or knee slide. The power push. The skill level is beginner and the risk level is medium. For this push, it helps if you can skate comfortably, run out off of your skateboard or knee slide. Here's the foot setup position for the power push. The power push is the best way to maximize your push power and get the most speed from each push. Here are the simple steps for the power push. From riding position, spin your chest forward by pivoting on the balls of your front foot so that your toes point forward. Pull your push leg up at the knee and let your shin and foot hang down as you gently lean back to counterbalance on your front leg. As you drop your push leg into your push, snap your body weight forward hard and fast as you bend down and lean into your push off with power and strength from your push foot. After you get your power push, continue leaning your body weight forward until your back is almost flat and your push leg kicks up and back to level out your body into a scale formation to help balance your upper body and push leg. Pro tip for this push, feel yourself lean into your power pushes just like running. The harder and faster you accelerate is the more you need to lean forward to keep your balance. There are two different ways to raise your push leg. You can kick your push leg up into your push or lift it up at the knee. Practice this with one push at a time and work on finding that comfortable rhythm to your power pushes. Here's how to bail. Use the runout method to lean your head over your front foot and into a runout or into a knee slide. The lean push. The skill level is intermediate and the risk level is medium. For the lean push, it helps if you can skate comfortably, run out, or knee slide. Here's the foot setup position for the lean push. The lean push is the best way to turn and push at the same time. Here are the simple steps for the lean push. From riding position, spin your chest forward by pivoting on your front foot so your toes point forward. Now adjust your front foot in a heel to toe motion so it is closer to the side of the board in the direction that you're turning. If you are turning to the left, center your foot closer to the left, and if you're turning to the right, center your foot closer to the right. Bend down and gently lean into your turn and push with your back foot using the balls of your foot. Pro tip for this push, the closer you adjust your front foot to the edge of the board is the more leverage you will gain to make a sharper turn while pushing. Having loose trucks will allow you to lean and push without adjusting your foot so far to the edge of the board. And if your trucks are extra loose, you can use your ankle to roll your weight into the direction that you want to turn. Practice this one push at a time going slow while carving backside first, which will make it easier to bail while learning. As you get more comfortable, start to try front side as well. Here's how to bail. Use the runout method to lean your head over your front foot and step off into a runout or into your knee slide. The tic tac. The skill level is intermediate and the risk level is medium. For the tic tac, it helps if you can skate comfortably, backside kick turn, frontside kick turn, run out off of your board, and knee slide. Here's the foot setup position for the tic tac. The tic tac is the best way to accelerate from a stop without pushing or stepping off of your board. Here are the simple steps for the tic tac. From riding position, kick turn backside, and then kick turn frontside. Continue alternating back and forth, digging in from your heels for frontside, and leaning into your toes for backside. Just as your front wheels touch the ground, quickly lean and swing your shoulders into your next kick turn. Keep swinging your shoulders back and forth into your kick turns until you start to form a quick rhythm and accelerate. Lean your body weight into your kick turn rhythm as you lean into your heels and toes for additional traction. Continue this hard and fast to build acceleration from a stop. 
Pro tip for this push, looser trucks allow you to lean over more into your kick turns for better carved kick turns. Remember to use the swinging power from your torso and shoulders to generate acceleration and power. Practice this with one kick turn at a time while stopped or going slow. Here's how to bail. Use the runout method to lean your head over your front foot and step off with your back foot into a runout or knee slide. The throwdown. The skill level is intermediate and the risk level is high. For this push, it helps if you can skate comfortably, run out off of your skateboard, or knee slide. Here's the foot and hand setup position for the throwdown. The throwdown is the best way to accelerate as fast as possible in a short distance. Here are the simple steps for the throwdown. From standing, hold your skateboard with the thumb on the grip side with the arm that is in front while you skate. Take a few steps and your last step should be off of your push leg. When you hit the running speed you want, gently drag your board on the tail and drop it in front of your lead leg. Lean into stepping on your board with your front foot and then pivot on your front foot and stand in the riding or ollie position. Pro tip for this push, as you get better, run faster and lean harder into your throwdown and then add some power pushes for extra speed. Practice this from a walk first and as you get better, try a jog and then run into your throwdown with full speed. Here's how to bail. Use the runout method to lean your head over your front foot and step off with your back foot into a runout or knee slide. The run and jump. The skill level is advanced and the risk level is medium. For the run and jump, it helps if you can skate comfortably, run out off of your skateboard, or knee slide. Here is the setup position for the run and jump. The run and jump is the best way to gain speed if you don't have enough space or enough time to push. Here are the simple steps for the run and jump. Lay your board on the ground in the direction that you want to skate. Start as far back from the board as needed to gain the running speed you want. Run and jump onto your board and land with your feet in riding position or ollie position. Pro tip for this push, when doing tricks immediately after your run and jump, it helps you to land as close as possible to the foot setup position you need for that trick. Practice this off a step first and then on flat ground. And be sure to land on your board with your knees bent and legs strong for better balance. Here's how to bail. Use the runout method to lean your head over your front foot and step off with your back foot into a runout or knee slide. The switch mongo push. The skill level is advanced and the risk level is medium. For this push, it helps if you can skate comfortably, switch run out off of your skateboard, or knee slide. Here's the foot setup position for the switch mongo push. The switch mongo push is a way that some skaters choose to push while skating in switch stance. Here are the simple steps for the switch mongo push. From switch stance riding position, spin your back foot so your toes point forward, then spin your chest forward. Bend down with your back leg as you swing your front leg out in front of you, as if to take a step. Push off of the ground using the balls of your foot and be sure to lean forward into each push, keeping your head over your skateboard for better balance. Set your front foot back into riding position, pivot your back foot into riding position and set it back on the tail. Continue pushing until you reach your desired speed or until you get tired. Pro tip for this push, always keep your head and body weight over your skateboard while pushing and skating. Practice this with one push at a time while going slow or until you feel comfortable enough to try two pushes in a row. Then try three, and then try as many as you can to build consistency. Here's how to bail. Use the runout method to lean your head over your front foot and into a runout or knee slide. The switch push. The skill level for this push is advanced and the risk level is medium. For the switch push, it helps if you can skate comfortably, switch runout off of your skateboard, or knee slide. Here's the foot setup position for your switch push. The switch push is the best way to push while skating in switch stance. Here are the simple steps for your switch push. From switch stance riding position, spin your chest forward by pivoting on your front foot so your toes point forward. Bend down with your lead leg as you swing your back leg out in front of you as if to take a step. Push off the ground using the balls of your feet and lean forward into each push, keeping your head over your skateboard for better balance. Slightly hop and pivot off your front foot to set your feet back in the riding position and continue pushing until you reach your desired speed 
or until you get tired. Pro tip for this push, always keep your head and body weight over your board while pushing and skating. Practice this with one push at a time while going slow or until you feel comfortable enough to try two pushes in a row. Then try three pushes in a row and then try to push as many times as possible. Here's how to bail. Use the runout method to lean your head over your front foot and into a runout or knee slide. The pump carve. The skill level is advanced and the risk level is medium. For the pump carve, it helps if you can skate comfortably, carve backside, carve front side, run out off of your skateboard, and knee slide. Here's the foot setup position for the pump carve. Here are the simple steps for the pump carve. Push off in a medium to fast speed and set your feet into riding position. Make sure you keep your knees loose. From riding position, quickly lean on your toes to make a tight carve backside. And then immediately lean on your heels in the opposite direction to make a tight carve frontside. Bend down and press off of the ground by pumping in and out of your carves. Continue alternating back and forth, digging in from your heels for frontside and leaning into your toes for backside. Lean your body weight quick and heavy into a pump rhythm to dig your wheels into the ground for extra traction, which gives you better acceleration. Pro tip for this push, loose trucks allow you to lean and pump with more leverage and ease. Practice this on a smooth flat surface with hard wheels and find your pump carve rhythm that keeps your speed and feels comfortable. Here's how to bail. Use the runout method to lean your head over your front foot and into a runout or knee slide. Here are some related trick ideas to inspire you for more combinations. For beginner, practice your pushes and runouts so you can build confidence and consistency. For intermediate, practice pushing around your local skate park without resting. This includes pushing around turns. And be sure to skate around your skate park in both directions. For advanced, practice and build consistency using all of these different ways to push. The skate term for this lesson is razor tail. This is when you file the edge of your tail down to a sharp point, which is usually caused by dragging your tail on the ground to stop or for overusing a skateboard for way too long. Razor tails can be extremely painful if they crash into your ankle and can also affect the pop of your skateboard. Remember that this is a channel, so we have many other videos to help you guys. Please click the blue Skate Heart logo to learn more. Please share this channel with your friends or anyone who would benefit from it and they'll appreciate your consideration. We put a lot of time and love into making quality educational videos for you. We even upload them to YouTube for free to help more people around the world. So please send a donation to help us keep this channel alive for you. Donation details and other important information, including my board setup, are included in the description box below. Leave me your comments or represent your country, including any questions you may have, your thoughts or feedback about this video, and ideas or lessons for future videos so I can continue to do my best to help you guys reach your goals. I hope you were inspired by this video and gained a better understanding of skateboarding. Thanks again for watching and be sure to meet me JB back here for more of your favorite skate park lessons.